Hello YouTube, and welcome to my six month review of my 2017 all electric Nissan LEAF. And yes, this is also my winter review of the Nissan LEAF, how it holds up in a main winter. First of all, I must say, this car has met and exceeded my expectations. I am so happy that I took a chance on the LEAF as it's enabled me to live out the dream of driving an all electric vehicle. If there was ever a question on its reliability, it has certainly proven itself over these past six months, and in particular the past two months where we've experienced prolonged sub-freezing temperatures. Although range estimates have decreased with the much colder weather, I found that this hasn't been much of an issue for me as my daily commute is in line with the national average. And for those few times that I do travel beyond the single charge range of this car, I found that the ever-growing EV infrastructure has come in handy and has allowed me to push beyond the limitations of driving an all-electric vehicle. So, in a minute, we'll go out to the car and I can show you what kind of range I've been getting since the winter weather has set in. You'll see how the battery performs in the extreme cold we've been getting this season. And I also have a few errands to run, so we'll swing by my dealership so I can hook up to the DC fast charger and you can see how uh, charging is affected by the cold as well. So as you can see here, Range is definitely affected by the colder weather. I mean, I've got the heat on right now. It's 12 degrees outside. <laughs> so I've got the heat set to 70 over here. And you can see I've got 45% on my battery and I can drive about 39 more miles. Now, if I didn't need the heat, and again, in the warmer cold temperatures of like 30 degrees or 40 degrees, I can cycle the heat on and off, but when it's 12 degrees out or single digits or negative, you kind of need to keep the heat on. But here I go, I'll turn it off real quick, and just as an example, you'll see that mileage right there, 39 estimated miles, jumps up to 51 miles. And that's more like what I'm used to seeing in the summer, is you know that many miles based on that percent on the battery. When I charge this battery up all the way, I can usually get 120 or 130 miles on on a single charge but in the winter lately it's been more like 65 75 miles on a charge another thing I like to point out here is my uh, my battery temperature as you can see I have three bars right now and I guess two bars would mean I'm pretty much frozen so I've, I've never been down to only two bars and that's with the uh, negative 20 degrees uh, temperatures we've had here recently and I think part of that is the reason it hasn't gotten that low is that I use the vehicle every day I'm using this vehicle every night I'm either plugging in at home or I will you know I'll do a quick charge and that helps and I'll do that later on in this video just to show you guys the difference but uh, by using the vehicle whether you're charging it or just driving it and not letting it sit for more than 24 hours heck I haven't even let mine sit for more than 12 hours it helps to keep the battery from freezing and it hasn't been as much of a concern as I initially thought it was going to be when I first got the vehicle. So here we are pulling into my dealership here and gonna go hook up to the DC fast charger and I'll uh, show you guys what it's like charging at in 13 degrees temperature <laughs> and I'll get a quick peek here too. Let's uh, pan down here. So my battery's still at uh, three bars there, but you can see I'm at 21%, 26 more miles I can drive. It says I've driven 38 miles, but I don't think I charged to 100% the last time. I think I only got up to about 80 or 85%. And that's typically what you get with the uh, DC fast charger, unless you decide to go beyond the half an hour. But I'm just gonna plug in for a half an hour here and we'll see how much juice I can get. The nice thing though about quick charging in the winter is it's going to help you warm up your battery. And as you can see here, I am now 
up to uh, four bars on my uh, battery temperature. So it's a nice side effect and it does help uh, condition that battery in the winter for you. So that quick charging session got me back up to about 75%. And that's not bad considering how cold it is outside. Had I stayed there a little longer, I probably could have got into the 80s or 90s. But that's alright because I'm going to plug in here at home and show you another cool feature of the electric car. Now in the winter, many of us like to preheat our cars before we head off to work. I know my wife really appreciates her remote car starter. But what if you park in the garage? With an electric car, that's not an issue. And I'll show you here how I've got mine set up. So what I've done here is I've navigated to the settings menu. And if I scroll down to climate control timer, you'll see that I have my departure time set to 7.10 in the morning, Monday through Friday, and I've excluded the weekends. By making this one minor adjustment to the settings, the car is now programmed to preheat the cabin anytime I have it plugged in during the work week, based off of how cold it is outside and what my departure time is set to. On days it's not that cold outside, I've noticed that it starts warming up the cabin 10 or 15 minutes before the departure time that's set. On the much colder days, however, I've seen it kick in a half hour to 45 minutes before the set departure time. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in. That way in the morning we can check out how this preheating works. So here we are the next morning, and as you can see it's uh, 7 a.m. And here I go, I've got my app open, and you can see the graph here. The car's been charging, and it's started to taper off around 5 o'clock in the morning. And then it goes down to about one kilowatt, so that pretty much tells me that it's just about charged. But right here, you can see how it started to spike at about, oh, what time is that, 6.45-ish. And it's back up to three kilowatts, and that's because the climate control kicked in. So we'll go out there in a minute, and I'll show you what that looks like. And before I go out there, I just wanted to get a quick taping of what the temperature is in the garage. So I'm looking at 26 degrees in the garage, and outside, it's... 13. So here we are in the garage and as you can see the car is on. It's uh, preheating. You probably can't even tell because it's so quiet but if I get closer to the car here maybe you can hear that. That's the uh, climate control kicking in or it's been kicked in for the past uh, 15 minutes here and it's pre preheating the cabin for me. I've got the garage door closed which is good because it's again it's a 13 degree difference. It's 26 out there and or 26 in here and 13 out there so but you know with an electric car you don't have to worry about uh, turning on the vehicle because there's no emissions so <laughs> so I get to preheat the car inside a slightly warmer garage than that it would be outside and you can see the controls there kind of it's, it's lit up uh, the vehicle itself actually isn't on but the uh, the conditioning of the vehicle is so if I were to just step inside here real quick, you can, you'll, you'll be able to hear it. Oh yeah, and it's nice and toasty in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unhook and uh, get ready to go to work. You can see the process will only take me half a minute and then I'm out the door. And there you have it, back up to a nearly full tank, and I've got 86 miles that I can do with the heater on. And because it's nice and warm in here now, you know, and I don't have far to go, if I wanted to turn that heater off, I could jump back up to 116 miles. So, and that's, that's what I would do if it was, uh, you know, 30 degrees out or 40 degrees out. I would just pretty much not use the heat or just cycle it on and off when, when it gets a little chilly in here. Overall, the 2017 Nissan LEAF has proven itself to be an excellent vehicle. 
It's been reliable, and I've thoroughly enjoyed driving around in a 100% electric car. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Bill Hensley. We'll see you later.